we start by evaluating the roots of the equation x raised to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies that x raised to the power 5 is equal to 1, which can also be written as cos of 2r pi plus i times sine of 2r pi, where r is an integer. Therefore, x is equal to cos of 2r pi plus i times sine of 2r pi raised to the power 1 upon 5. Now using the Morse theorem, this is equal to cos of 2r pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 2r pi upon 5, where r takes on the values 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now when r is equal to 0, the root of the equation let's denote it by x0, is equal to cos of 0 plus i times sine 0, which is equal to 1. When r is equal to 1, the root x1 is equal to cos of 2 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5. When r is equal to 2, the root x2 is equal to cos of 4 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 4 pi upon 5. And this can be written as cos of pi minus pi upon 5 plus i times sine of pi minus pi upon 5. Now since cos is negative and sine is positive in the second quadrant, this is equal to minus of cos of pi upon 5 plus i times sine of pi upon 5. When r is equal to 3, the root x3 is equal to cos of 6 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 6 pi upon 5, which can be written as cos of pi plus pi upon 5 plus i times sine of pi plus pi upon 5. Since cos and sine are negative in the third quadrant, this is equal to minus of cos of pi upon 5 minus i times sine of pi upon 5. And finally, when r is equal to 4, the root x4 is equal to cos of 8 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 8 pi upon 5. And this can be written as cos of 2 pi minus 2 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 2 pi minus 2 pi upon 5. Now cos is positive and sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. Therefore this is equal to cos of 2 pi upon 5 minus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5. Therefore the roots of the equation x raised to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0 are 1 cos of 2 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5 minus of cos of pi upon 5 plus i times sine of pi upon 5 minus of cos of pi upon 5 minus i times sine of pi upon 5 and cos of 2 pi upon 5 minus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5. These can also be written as 1 cos of 2 pi upon 5 plus minus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5 and minus cos pi upon 5 plus minus i times sine of pi upon 5. Therefore, x raised to the power 5 minus 1 can be expressed as x minus 1 times x minus, in brackets, cos of 2 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5 multiplied by x minus, in brackets, cos of 2 pi upon 5 minus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5 
multiplied by x minus in brackets minus cos pi upon 5 plus i times sine pi upon 5 multiplied by x minus in brackets minus cos pi upon 5 minus i times sine pi upon 5. Now this can be rearranged as x minus 1 times x minus cos of 2 pi upon 5 minus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5 multiplied by x minus cos of 2 pi upon 5 plus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5 multiplied by x plus cos pi upon 5 minus i times sine pi upon 5 multiplied by x plus cos pi upon 5 plus i times sine pi upon 5. Combining the terms as shown above, x raised to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 multiplied by, in brackets, x minus cos of 2 pi upon 5 whole square minus i times sine of 2 pi upon 5 whole square multiplied by x plus cos of pi upon 5 whole square minus i times sine of pi upon 5 whole square. i square is equal to minus 1. Therefore, this is equal to x minus 1 times, in brackets, x square minus 2x times cos of 2 pi upon 5 plus cos square 2 pi upon 5 plus sine square 2 pi upon 5 multiplied by x square plus 2x times cos pi upon 5 plus cos square pi upon 5 plus sine square pi upon 5. The cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. And therefore, x raised to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 multiplied by x square minus 2x times cos of 2 pi upon 5 plus 1 multiplied by x square plus 2x times cos of pi upon 5 plus 1. And this is the required answer.